bankrupt Atlantic City casino Revel got the go-ahead on Tuesday to sell its assets to Brookfield Property Partners. Here to discuss is The Deal senior reporter, Kelsey Butler. Thanks for joining me, Kelsey. Thanks, Richard. Now, the price tag Brookfield paid is a fraction of what it cost to build the casino? Yes, that's right. Um, so Brookfield agreed to pay $110 million for Revel. That's definitely a small, small fee compared to the fact that it took $2 billion to build the casino just a few short years ago. Revel, which is in its second bankruptcy, also owes creditors about $460 million. So Brookfield definitely got a deal there. Now, will Brookfield succeed where prior owners of Revel failed in making it a profitable venture? You know, it remains to be seen, but Brookfield definitely has a few things working in its favor. First of all, it got Revel on the cheap, so that's definitely a big thing. Um, Brookfield also already owns the Hard Rock in Las Vegas and the Atlantis in the Bahamas. And their spokesman has told me that they're considering trying to have some synergies among the properties. So if they're able to do that successfully, it could be really big in making the business profitable. There is a stalking horse bidder, however, that could potentially throw a wrench in the sale of Revel to Brookfield. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Sure. Um, so Polo North Country Club, which is owned by Florida developer Glenn Straub, um, originally offered $90 million for Revel. Schaub has been really vocal about the fact that he thinks the auction process was not transparent, that he was kept in the dark, and that changes were made on the fly throughout the process. And his counsel tells me he's considering appealing the decision. So if that happens, it could delay the wholesale closing. Well, we look forward to tracking the situation through your great reporting, Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And that was Kelsey Butler, The Deal's senior reporter. I'm Richard Collins, senior writer at The Deal. Thanks for watching.